the solar cells can be one meter long. You simply cut out afterwards. You make a stretch of 500 meters. If you want a low voltage module, you cut one meter. If you want higher modules, you take a different length and you simply connect the ends. My name is Ross Sondergaard. Uh, I'm a senior scientist at DTU Energy and I'm primarily involved with the manufacture of organic solar cells on larger scale using rotor roll machinery. The organic solar cell became interesting for the scientific community uh, because of the possibilities to uh, use very little material to produce energy. This is a low-cost technology. Everything, all layers, has to be adjusted. So you weigh price and efficiency at all times. The main advantage of the Affinity concept is that we've developed a concept where we can print and code uh, organic solar cells uh, indefinitely. So the limitation of how long and how high a voltage that can be gained from a module uh, is defined by the length of the module. So you have two ends and these are, if you have a foil that is uh, rolled out, then one will have a plus in one end and a minus in the other end. The driving force here is speed. You roll it out and the limitation so far, what we discovered, is only how fast can you drive this wagon. Well, the Solar Park was an initiative that we took in order to try to show that the organic solar cell can be manufactured on a large scale, aiming for power production. In the project, we silly connect solar cells, stretches up to 100 meters, meaning we have we gain around 10,000 volts on such a stretch. So. This is the, the main thing about the solar park, that you can get high voltage and power output, something that you can connect to the grid. Of course, trying to develop new solar cell designs, uh, increasing the output of the solar cell, organic solar cell on large scale uh, is always a challenge uh, here. It's also always very motivating to see the end results when we get just a little step further on.